Korea has largely won an appeal ruling at the World Trade Organization in a challenge that puts U.S. anti-subsidy duties on Korean-made washing machines in jeopardy. Three years of dispute seemingly coming to an end. Oh Jung-hee has the details. Korea gained a de facto victory on its case against the United States anti-dumping measures on Korean washing machines. The government announced on Thursday the World Trade Organization's uplit body ruled that the anti-dumping tariff that the U.S. imposed on Korea's residential washers of 9 to 13 percent violated the WTO anti-dumping agreement. The U.S.'s zeroing and target dumping practices came under fire. In calculating anti-dumping duties, the U.S. had been overstating its overall average of dumping by setting at zero any negative difference between the domestic price of Korean washers and U.S. import price. The U.S. also adopted a targeted dumping scheme, which imposes tariffs on products sold in specific region at specific timing. The scheme targeted Korean washers sold on 2012 Black Friday. The U.S. Commerce Department imposed heavy anti-dumping duties on Korean washers in December 2012, causing Korean washer manufacturers to sustain significant annual losses in exports since then. Korea raised a complaint to the WTO in August 2013. The appellate body's decision echoes the initial one made by the organization's dispute settlement board panels in March this year. The body's report will be made final when the board meets later this month for a regular session, and the U.S. will have up to 15 months to hold negotiations with and compensate Korean washer manufacturers Samsung and LG. Korea's trade ministry says that from this ruling, it expects a positive impact on Korea's leading manufacturing industries amid growing protectionism. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.